There are two of them. It's okay. It'll be good. Is that a good rotation? <laughs> yes, but there's nothing on there. <laughs> yeah, she's away from it. It's okay. Hey, we're just we're just oh, yeah, I should turn it off. Or not. Get it together. That's my favorite thing. a Windows logo that can bounce on the corner. That's like. Like a CD window. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> hey! Hey! Is she there? Oh, it did yep. like three minutes of video in this man. All right, we can see. We can see Jamie. Yes. Uh, can you try speaking? Yes. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Wow, that's a good all right, so. She can't see us at all, so we're gonna have to. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to okay. She can see. Well, she can see you guys. She can't see us. Oh, that's so. right. Okay. Oh, okay. I can hear you too, Chris. So don't yeah. worry about it. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Yep. It's going great. All right. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Well, I guess Vincent. I guess it is close to twelve thirty. If you want to get started. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah. Have a good RTX. What was the question? Have a good RTX. Kind of just started. Nice. First time here. First time here. Woo! You guys all first time. Club. Yeah. Woo! Right, nice. I flew on the plane alone for the first time. That was wild. Nice. Wow. That's actually impressive. That's an interesting first RTX because the first thing I'm doing at my first RTX is being on a stage. Yep. Yep. Good. yep. I was Woo! not expecting this to happen. Yep. Round of applause for Give us, What does it feel like? Your experience, I want to hear. Well, we should maybe introduce ourselves first. And then Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> well, why don't we start with Jamie? Because she's well, yeah, on, with Jamie. on the screen. <laughs> Hi, Jamie, sure. would you introduce so. yourself for us, please? Sure, I'm Jamie. I run the community YouTube channel Mooncake. Woo! So I make story Woo! YouTube... Thank you. <laughs> I, I, make, I make story videos about the Rooster Teeth group. So for example, have you ever wondered how Gavin got hired at Rooster Teeth? How did Michael get hired or Lindsay get hired? What's the story behind that? Or like, how did Jeff go from some kid in Alabama to starting Rooster Teeth, right? So I make videos about those kinds of stories. She's not like actual content the rest of us don't have. <laughs> They're like the auto autobiography yes. in visual form. Yeah, the, real, the important yeah. stuff that none of us are doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go next. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Craig Viznovec. You might recognize me as the AH animated and source guy. Mm -hmm. I'm from Minnesota, and I've been editing for almost, it's almost five years now. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited to really be here. That's a lot. Hi guys, I'm Ali Kitaguchi. I run the YouTube channel Ali Kitaguchi. If you, can tell. Uh, you might know me from my minute series, which is like Achievement Hunter doing X for a certain amount of minutes and stuff like that. Mainly Achievement Hunter is what I do. Um, I've also done like Best of Achievement Hunter, Achievement Hunter deceiving each other for 69 minutes or whatever it is. That's mainly what I do. Yeah, I, I pop up in the recommended affair about like way more than you would think I would, which is kind of funny. Someone from my high school actually sent me a picture. He was like, is this you? I was like, yep, haven't talked to you in eight years, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Allie. <laughs> hey, I'm Abby, okay, Abby Squid, um, and I do like vague compilations every now and then. I just, I mainly do like, oh, there we go. I mainly do like uh, a lot of post-team content and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Masterman 101. Um, I guess I'm the senior of the bunch of people. Well, I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm not that far behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got two adults that and are guardians two and two children. children. <laughs> <laughs> we little children and we have to uh, you know, breastfeed, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mainly do, um, I kind of just do whatever. Um, uh, I like doing the, uh, the Achievement Hunter Let's Plays. Um, I did the, uh, like you did the, the three hour super bunny video that I've seen 1400 times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like one of my favorite I did videos. The, uh, I did the, uh, roughly 12 hour G mod one. Yeah. Cause Ooh. you're insane. Um, <laughs> how, how, how? <laughs> a lot, a lot of time. I got, I got no life. What <laughs> took longer, rendering or processing? Rendering. Rendering. Had to rendering. Absolutely had to be rendering. Are you kidding me? How long? Thirty-six hours to render? With two days. Yeah. Oh. Forty-eight. <laughs> and that was like on my bad computer. Yeah. yeah. I got, I, up, I upgraded to something. No, no, not that bad. <laughs> this is how my channel runs and operates. This computer right here. Yeah, I, I made that like on a, was it like a 2012 all-in-one uh, thing that was like- A movie editor thing? No, I, I, I 
Oh, we'll get, we'll get to that in a sec. Are you just cries for help? But, uh, yes. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Let's, uh, my, my 12-year MacBook I, can't keep up with me I anymore. do editing, but yeah. not on that. Yeah. yeah. Let's, I did edit. Uh, when I started, I started on my MacBook, too. So, so how did you all get into uh, Rooster Teeth and yeah. Achievement Hunter? We'll, we'll, start we'll, start with, we'll, cake. we'll start with Jamie, yeah, so because we've got her on the screen. Sure. Uh, this is kind of a weird one. I've always been a Halo fan since I was a kid. Played tons of Halo. I was really bored one day on Google Videos. I didn't know what to do. So when I was a kid in Google Videos, this was like 2005-ish, I typed in poop. Just like, <laughs> for no reason, I was just really bored. And then the first thing that showed up was the first episode of Red vs. Blue. And that's how I got into it. And that's the story. That's really funny. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and then years later, I just started watching Achievement Hunter. And then the thing that actually got me into the personalities of Rooster Teeth rather than just like the shows is Rage Quit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that led to the Each Man or Let's Plays and then just went on from there. Yeah. How about you guys? So I've probably been watching Rooster Teeth for nine years, but I've only known that I have for the past five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would always find like some random videos that I recommended. And I remember very vividly, I was watching the Five Nights at Freddy's immersion not knowing that it was Rooster Teeth. Mm-hmm. And then for even years beyond that, probably since 2013, I would be watching just achievement guides because I love getting achievements in Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Or not even Minecraft, just Xbox in general. So I've probably been watching Rooster Teeth for about nine years now without knowing, but I remember I subscribed like mid-2017 and that's when I would watch everything consistently. And um, that's how I got into watching it. I can get into editing like yeah. well with everyone else. For me, um, I started with Gavin. I was a really big Slow Mo Guys fan because um, I, I studied film and stuff. And so for me, Slow Mo Guys was really interesting because it was technology that I had never seen before, stuff that I would never get to use. And I was watching, I was binging Slow Mo Guys one day and a Cunning Stunts from GTA 5 popped up in my recommended. And I was like, I can't not click on that title. <laughs> I have to click on that title. Um, and I had no idea what was going on. And I remember watching the video and going, okay, well that's, that's Gavin, I know that that's Gavin. And then I was like, that Michael guy sounds really familiar. And I realized he was from Rage Quit and I had been watching Rage Quit for, re- for years. I didn't realize it was Rooster Teeth kind of same as Craig. Um, and so from there, I started binging the GTA 5 playlist, sp- specifically the Cunning Stunt playlist. Wow, that was nice to just smack my stunt. <laughs> <laughs> specifically the Cunning Stunt playlist. Uh, and then I did like all of the GTA 5 and then that's kind of how I got into Achievement Hunter and then I got into Rooster Teeth after that. So that's kind of how I came in, was basically through Gavin, really. So, so I was like, I was a pretty big Camp Camp fan when it kind of first oh, came camp, out. Camp. And, oh my god, I love Camp Camp so much. <laughs> I was kind of like a huge fan of that because like my friend group was talking about it. And then I was, I would watch like a bunch of animatics and stuff with them and animations. And then somebody made one uh, and I was like, that voice sounds exactly like Max. And so I clicked on the link of where it came from and it led me to Rage Quit. And then that kind of led me to the rest of the oh, circles back to Rage Quit. It's all Rage Quit. Circles back to Rage Quit. Have you guys ever heard of that show? No. 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 You wouldn't know it. It's underground. It's underground. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know. So mine's actually pretty multifaceted. Um, because ours weren't, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, um, so I I knew about RVB because um, I would this I think like in two thousand three or something, and this was just this was just a little massacre just playing Halo, uh, not knowing how to play the game. I I was at my babysitter's house and she had an Xbox and I thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. And playing Halo, and I was just like, oh, this is so cool. And I I think I was playing on Legendary without even knowing it. And so I was getting my rear end into me. Like, <laughs> and so I was just like, oh. So it's like, I go home and I'm looking, and it's just like, well, how do I get past this one part? And I just found, you know, you know, I think episode one. And I think that's all I watched because I thought it was hilarious, but I didn't want to get in trouble because, you know, it's like, oh, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that was never me. And um, fast forward, uh, was this like 2012 or something? I was in high school. Um, my best friend, um, he showed me. Take take a guess what he showed me. Rage Rage Come on, guys, we just talked about that. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. This is a quiz he, showed, right now. he showed me the Mortal Kombat Rage Quit. 
and I kind of vaguely recognized where it was from because um, my memory is just like that. I don't ask him why, but um, um, and then he started making like these these you know like RVP jokes because we play like Halo Reach like almost every day after school, and he'd be making these jokes. I was like, where are these jokes from? He's just like, oh, he's just like it's from this thing called RVP, and I'm like watching it, like I'm like holy holy crap, this is, this is hilarious, and um. So I got the season, the the complete series. It was like up to season ten, and I binged that like in a matter of weeks. Um, then I, he was we we started playing mine. We started playing Minecraft, and I'm just I'd be yeah. He was just showing me how to play the game. And I'm just like how do you how do you know how do you know all this stuff? And he's just like what. Well, Watch the Let's Play. And I'm just like, it was like Let's Play. Oh, you mean like Achievement Hunter? That same guy who did a uh, Rage Quit, and then. Let's play, and then I'm just like, well, here we go again. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's kind of how I kind of find research. That I logged onto the site, the old site. Um, I was very active on there. I, I missed that site. So, anyway, let's 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 move on. Real, um, real quickly though. Yeah, um, say hi to everybody. Phoenix Ed says hi. Yeah. Hey! 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 Hey, sorry you couldn't make it. Yes, he ah. lives in England, so that's all I try right. getting Spike, but I can't. He's he's elusive. Yeah. We're all Spike. Well, Spike and Phoenix we are. are the same person. Yeah. So. yeah, all of us are Spike Siegel. Yeah. You're here are. first. We were gonna introduce ourselves as that, but we didn't want to get your hopes up that one of us actually was. I think, it, I think I, that, that joke has been running to the ground. So, no, not quite yet. So, so he is alive. Though. The horse is still kicking. I and guess he's alive. I don't know. Sure. Will the real Spike Siegel please stand up? No, absolutely not. <laughs> so, um, our, our next our next point, uh, did we, what were the inspirations, like, from other editors, or just, like... Like, did we watch other editors and stuff? Jamie, you want to go? Sure. So, my biggest inspiration was a YouTuber called Internet Historian. Easily by far. Yeah. Amazing YouTuber. He uploads like every six months, but that's okay. Journey. You can definitely see his influence in my videos, but I'm nowhere near as funny as he is. But I loved the whole like, just telling a funny story in like a funny way. Just not like super serious or anything like that. It's just like, here's a really funny story and just enjoy it. So that was definitely one of the biggest inspirations for me. And then the other thing, the other one was uh, Lemino and then Alternate History Hub, which I know for you, Craig, Lemino was a huge inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Gap mouth yeah. right now, just gaping at the back. All right, so um, I was always back to back. You would always find just the source material, like Rooster Teeth and Chew Hunter and recommended, and you would always find just fan edits and compilations. And I would watch those arguably more than the original stuff. Yeah, same. And there was videos that I wanted to see, but no one had done. So specifically, I wanted to see like the AH animated fused with just the source video, but no one had done it. Or I wanted to see a compilation that was not centered around like a person or a series like Best of Michael or Best of GTA. I just wanted to see a random compilation of about 25 videos. Notice that no one had did it. So I figured, you know what? I'll try it. And that was, that was it? <laughs> That's pretty much what led to it. I know I didn't have much to work with, but you don't need much to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. I did most of my videos on this 2015 MacBook using iMovie. Yep. Yep. You can just go for it. Yep. Uh, for me, uh, as I was getting into RT and Achievement Hunter and stuff, I started watching a lot of compilations. So all of the old ones from like seven, eight, nine years ago, I watched probably all of them. Uh, and I remember, I remember watching Craig's videos because Craig started making videos you started making videos before <laughs> I did, but I had seen like I'd seen the AH animated and sources. I'd seen a whole bunch of those. Um, but for me, it was kind of the same way where it was like, there were videos that I was like, how has no one made this yet? Like someone has to make this video. Why has it not been done yet? And so I kind of started making a list of like all these videos that I was like, these would be so funny if someone made these. And I was like, I have, I currently have two degrees in communication. So I was like, I can do that. I can do that surely. And I had been editing at the time for at least five years, if not six already for my undergrad. So I was like, yeah, I could probably make these. And so, I started making them and that was just kind of the, the tipping point for me. Um, so for like, I basically watched pretty much everybody at this, at this <laughs> panel and um, that's 
a lot of what inspired my channel and stuff was just looking at their edits and being like, I kind of want to do what they're doing. And so I just started making different videos and stuff and like what they were saying, but like, um, just like, hey, nobody's made this kind of video yet. And so it just kind of <laughs> That's it. Um, I wouldn't really say I got it from anybody. Um, I'm a, I pretty observe, I'm pretty observant. So it's like, I watch a lot of movies. So, and I, I notice those kind of things. So it's just like, what edits work, what don't. It's like, you know, it's, not, it's sometimes it just don't work or it's just like how it flows. And I kind of just go and do my own thing and I just I just kind of react to how you know people like because there's this one video it's like it's kind of cringe but I thought it would be funny doing the uh, the Hitman video where every time you get spotted the Metal Gear the Metal Gear alert would pop up and then people got sick of that I got roasted for it so it's like, I know it's my, like my I was, first video was the same way it's my most popular video that I ever had and everyone was like I hate this I'm like thank you so I'm much just like, I'm just like I see where you're coming from so I'm just gonna tone it I'm just gonna tone it back a little yeah, exactly. bit like, I remember um, I made a shit post video one time and someone commented saying Craig this is a new low <laughs> that is the pinned comment for that video <laughs> but um I kind of this this kind of segues into like another point. Um, I think I think yeah, that's, it just bounce around that list. Doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I kind of want to go sequentially because I think this is nice. Um, I think uh, this will segue into like how we got into editing, and I think you know since I'm talking, I think it's it's uh, I'll, I'll just continue on with it. So um, I started editing around my junior year of. No, it was my senior year of high school. This was like in 2014. And um, I wanted to do like 3D animation for, um, you know, like games, but I, I wasn't picking it up nearly like as quick as the class. So I was like falling behind. So I knew this was like, I don't think this is gonna work. So I'll do video productions. And that, that class was just terrible. Like I can go into it, but it, it's just like I was promised, you know, like you know, good editing, like good, uh, good camera equipment. Um, but you know, everything was outdated. Everything was like in disarray. So um, the only thing I really took away from that class was just editing, and I just taught myself how to do it because I thought it was cool. I like, yeah, I like puzzles. So it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle back um, together. Um, so that's how I got into editing, and I yeah really started you know enjoying enjoying just like putting you know the pieces back together. Um, and so yeah, that's how I got into that's how I got into editing. Jamie, well, we go with Abby next. It's like oh, we're reversing. Oh, we're reversing now. <laughs> I'm gonna look okay. Um, so I'm kind of got into editing kind of by accident. Um, I needed a. I needed a uh, another class for my high school, and I just had nothing to fill, and so I picked something that said Communications Academy. No clue what it was. Didn't read it. Said okay, whatever. Click like just clicked it on the site thing. Signed up for it, and then it's like, oh, this is editing. You're gonna work on our school news show. There you go. Sit at the computer. Yep. And I was just like, shit. I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> then I kind of had to like teach myself a little bit of it. And then I was like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. And just kind of stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, I had a similar story to Vincent. I did the morning announcements for my school when I was in the 10th grade. Um, and then my teacher was like, hey, you seem like pretty interested in this. You might want to try the local tech college. They've got a TV multimedia program. So I went and chatted with the program and my teacher liked me. He was like, yeah, we'll, we'll accept you if you want to apply for it. So for the next two years, I did TV and multimedia production. Um, and so I learned how to edit in there. We started editing on Final Cut Pro, and when I went to college, I decided to. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to college, I decided. Can well, you tell? Well, I don't anymore, but. Pion. Yeah, I went to I went to college and did a uh, undergrad degree in mass comm with audio video production as my focus, and we switched over to Premiere Pro, which is what I currently there use. There you go. I've been there using I've been point. using Premiere Pro for like seven years now, but that correct was choice. In, That's a correct choice. In high school, so now that was kind of how I got started. Was my teacher was like, "Hey, you seem interested in this. You might want to try the local tech school," and I just followed it through. So I got into editing because. Um, we always had a lot of technology at our school just because I was like on the edge of the technology boom when I was being educated. Because he's 18. 
I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> so in fourth grade, we had school assignments where we used... When was fourth grade? What year was that, Craig? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do the math. Know. It scares me. Uh, it's around the tens, by the way. Just so you guys are aware. I was in, I was in like, I think first grade in 2012. You're annoying. <laughs> You're so irritating. I'll get there, I'll get there. So, like, in fourth grade, we had school assignments where we had to, like, make an iMovie project or something like that. So, I remember very vividly, I was 13 years old, I was in eighth grade English, and we had one free hour to do nothing. And I was watching just a lot of Achievement Heart videos, and I went, I want to make an AH animated source. I want to try it, see how difficult it is. In that free hour, I hopped on iMovie with this exact same laptop <laughs> and just made the video just for myself. And after watching it like two or three times, I went, maybe other people would like this. So I uploaded it. And then it got like 500 views the next day, which is surprising from a channel that had 12 subscribers that <laughs> no one paid attention to. And then I just made another one. And five years later, I'm still going. Started when I was 13. <laughs> And here I am at the very end of being 17. Yeah. I just well, turned 18 three weeks 18, ago. So. Legal adult. I just ruined my childhood by working. Yeah. <laughs> Child labor laws are coming for you, by the way. You, 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 you exploited yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't done to you, it was done by you. Is there a human resources department for self employment? No. <laughs> Jamie, what about you? Help yourself. Oh, this sounds kind of sad. A little oh, sad. Well, um, I had no background in video production or anything at all. I had a psychology degree because I wanted to go into education. But through when I was like in my fourth or fifth year, because I stayed in fifth year because I'm a masochist. But basically, what ended up happening was I live in Ontario. The state of education in Ontario is terrible right now. I heard Texas is very similar. It's really hard to get a job as a teacher. So I was like, okay, I need to like pivot and get something realistic for now, and then maybe later, years down the line, I can go into teaching again. So I thought, well, what can I do with my degree and my experience? And what I could do is admin and HR, which I didn't care about, but I could get a job in there. So then I just kind of had this moment where I realized like, oh man, I'm just like heading towards a career that I just don't really care about and I have no passion for. Like, is that all I have in my life? That's it, just something I don't really care about? So then I realized I need to start like a creative outlet for myself, just so I can pour my passions into something. And then for the longest time, I had so much respect for YouTubers like Internet Historian, Lemino. Um, before he used to be called Top 10 Memes, I believe. And then uh, also Alternate History Hub and those kinds of YouTubers. So I was like, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I have no idea what to make. So I just sat there for like a year. I sat on the idea for like a year. Like, what do I even make? I have no idea. But then one day I realized, I was like, how did the slow-mo guy start? I wanna know like how did they start? And then I realized like there's like all of these YouTube videos I could watch, all these podcasts, but then when I put it all together, it was like 15 hours of content. And I was like, I just don't wanna do that. So then I thought I would love to just have like a five minute video that just explains everything. All the research is done, everything's done. Just like a five minute short video so that I can watch it and then learn the story. And then I thought, well, I want that. Maybe other people do as well. So then I thought, oh, I'll make videos about that. And that's how it started. That's awesome. Question? You, you watched the 14 hours anyways. True. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. Sorry, so you didn't want to watch the 14 hours, which I understand, because dang. Yeah. But you did it anyways to make that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We thank that's you for true. your sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes more. Sometimes it's like, oh god, the Fiona video took like 30 hours of stuff because I had no idea where to even look. <laughs> Sometimes usually, like for Gavin, there was the game time video he did with Bernie, and that one, like most of the information for that video came from there. But with Fiona, I had no idea where to even start, so I just had to go through the entire list of all the topics she had been on and just listen to everything. If it, so yeah, they can take a while. If it makes you feel any better, uh, one of the videos that I did was um, Achievement Hunter accurately guessing the traders in Gmod. Uh, that video took two weeks to research, which means I watched every single Gmod video the full way through and had a tally sheet that I was praying was accurate. <laughs> uh, it took me two weeks to watch everything, and then it took me another two weeks to edit. 
and that was that was the longest it ever took me to make a video and then at the end of the video i posted it and people were like i wish you would put like a bell or something that went off and i was like absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> joking me all of us probably have horror stories about how well that is that is one of the questions that we had which was like what was the the longest video that, that we had that was mine for sure the accurately guessing the traders and the people were like you should go back and do it but subtract points every time they're wrong i was like how about i just kill myself instead <laughs> like, <laughs> Absolutely not. I was That's a good to... idea. You should try making it. Yeah, how about happen. you do it and I'll watch for once. You know? By the way, Jamie, uh, happy Canada Day. Yeah. Thanks. Canada. Canada. Woo! Woo! Okay, so um, I guess we'll just roll on you, like how our channels grew, like how it kind of took off. Jamie, can you hear us? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie blink twice. Oh. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> You might have to call her back yeah, or gone. something. Oh, no. She died. <laughs> well, while we're while we're waiting for Craig to get his shit together, why don't you go? <laughs> oh. 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 I'll just answer the question first. Uh, I already said it. I uploaded it, and then just kept going. There's my response. <laughs> yeah, you have one that like took off. Not a one-hit wonder. <laughs> well, that's true, but like you could have had one that went popular, and then they all got popular. Uh, Jamie, there, is. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Huzzle. Hey guys. Okay. You can it all. Okay. So the question was, did we have a way that like our channels grew, like a video that maybe went viral or was popular or something like that? If you had one of those stories. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. Are we using Skype? Are we no. saying the me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were going to reverse order again. No, uh, I'm sorry. It was, uh, don't worry about it. It was the second video. It was how Michael and Lindsay met. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was recording videos and I was getting like four views. Yeah. Not even four views, sometimes like two views. And then one day I woke up. I had no idea how it happened, so I had no like tricks or tips or whatever. <laughs> one day I woke up and I had 20 views. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then the next day I had like 50 views, and then 100, and then 200, and then 1,000. And then I was like, holy crap. Well, we got the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, and yeah, the computer froze. Yeah. Um, the computer can believe it either. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll go while, while she's processing. Um, I kind of have a weird story where um, I posted my first video, and kind of kind of like Jamie, where like nothing happened at first. It took about two weeks for my first video to hit. And so the first time I posted it, I might have had like a couple hundred views overnight, which was really great. My channel only had like 140 subscribers. I didn't post anything. I wasn't active or anything. The only videos I had on there were from a supernatural convention that I had gone to in like 2014. And, uh, <laughs> and so I posted my first video and a couple weeks, like a couple days went by. And then by like the 14th day, I woke up one morning and it had like two or 3,000 views. I was like, oh, cool. And then the next day I woke up, it had like 30,000. I was like, well, that's a weird number. Where did that come from? <laughs> and then I woke up the next day and it had 120,000. And I was like, okay, something clearly happened. And so I spent an entire day scouring the Reddit and YouTube and Twitter trying to figure out who posted the link. Because someone had to have posted it, in my opinion. Because I was like, I don't know how people found this video. The next day it had 200,000 views. And so within the span of three days, I went from like 2,000 views to almost 200,000. So it grew really, really quickly. Um, and from there, I was like, well, if people, people were like, you need to make another video, you need to make, make another video. I posted another video maybe a week or two after that. And that first video overnight had 100,000 views. And that was kind of the rise of my channel had that. And like the subscriber count steadily went up as that went, but the view count was it was like within 24 hours of posting, it would be over 100,000 views, which was crazy at the time because my channel had less than 200 subscribers, which was insane. So that was how, how mine took off, was the first video I got lucky where a couple weeks after I posted it, it just skyrocketed. So I would like post a bunch of art and be very active in the community already. And I just feel like that like being active as much as I was kind of helped my channel to kind of like me to kind of have a name for myself already when I started editing and so when I first posted the, a video a uh, similar story it was like uh, the first few days it's like it would have like about 50 to 100 views and I was like that's pretty cool 
And then I woke up one morning and it was just like at a thousand views. And I'm like, okay, that's great. And it just started going up. And I was like, I gotta keep editing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I should probably move this up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, like talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I got it. Well, I mean, you don't have to kill it. <laughs> also, you know you have it sleeved on. I do. Well, they had him like this earlier. Me and Craig both have him, but it's fine. Okay. They can still hear me, don't worry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, so, my channel grew. This is, this is uh, strange, because it didn't take nearly as quick as they did. So... I started posting my YouTube channel when I started learning how to edit because my program was doing like these contests and it's like, oh, post it on YouTube, see how many, see how many likes it gets. I didn't get any because I was like a nobody. And so it's like, I, I accepted that. Um, so I, I did a couple of those promos. By the way, you can't see those, those are private. You'll never ever see them. <laughs> they're, they're bad, they're bad. Um, but, um, I, when I was, when I was really getting into, um, um, Achievement Hunter, um, I decided to make a, uh, like a, like a little Gavin montage, just kind of just because, you know, I just like, I wanted to like practice or something. And so I just decided, I was like, well, you know, Gavin, uh, Gavin being stupid for like 14, 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, it's like, what could possibly go wrong? And then I had a great idea. It's like, well, why don't we just put some whimsical British music in the background? <laughs> and it was like, what was it? It was like the Liberty Bell or something. It was like, it was like a like a Susan Mark. Wait, no, it couldn't have. No, I made it. I made it, it the British Grenadiers. What am I? What am I? Did you say Liberty Bell? Yeah, because it, I was like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the Liberty Bell was a march that was using oh. Monty Python. Okay. So that was the kind of. I used that in a later like, one. That that's yeah because of Monty Python. Gotcha. So then I made like three of those, and then I stopped for a couple of years, and it wasn't until like maybe 2016, 2017 when those really took off so i remember one day i'm just like noticing it's like hey how's the channel doing and um i says like oh that's got like oh it's got like about a few thousand views oh i wonder what happened there and then the next day it's like oh that's a couple ten thousand views hmm. and then i think pretty soon it was like yeah i think people like this i think i maybe just do more <laughs> so and it wasn't until rtx 2017 i was I had the idea, I was like, why, why don't I just do comps? I was sitting at the, uh, like an off-topic panel. I'm just like, yeah, I'll just do comps. Uh, that sounds cool. And then the first one I did, was, like I actually did was the, the Telltale Game of Thrones because that's what I was watching. Because they were, they, were, they, were they, were, they were promoting it. So yeah, that's that's how I got started. That's, that's how my channel grew. Um, so, okay, so let's move on to like, what how do we how do we edit and i guess um yeah yeah, yeah let's hear from craig. yeah go ahead craig oh me first yeah. me go Take all right away. i'll drive so <laughs> i'll just stick with how i edit aha and s's instead of doing like some of the odder stuff like the compilations i'll occasionally do or the video essays i'll sometimes dabble in so i need to look at my notes because <laughs> it's surprisingly even after five years of doing it. He came unprepared. <laughs> well, he came prepared. He just didn't. I read came prepared. Any. He didn't read I'm his good material. At, I'm That's good at recollecting. Prepared. I'm not good at remembering. So usually I'll just. I made a playlist. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. This is like maybe my second year of doing this. I made a playlist of every single age animated that I have not done yet. I don't know why I didn't wait this long to do that, but I started doing that. And I'll just find the video I think I've seen recently or the one that I like the most. I'll like download that, I'll download its source material. Even sometimes I'll venture outwards to see if there's any other source videos out there that add more to the story contextually. I know there was one Sky Factory episode where I think uh, Michael and Gavin got married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that Sky Factory. And then four episodes later, four weeks down the line, after talking about how they were gonna stay together forever, they just dumped the rings. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I should probably add that to that video as well. So sometimes I'll have to research a little bit to see if there's any outside context. Um, then it's more or less just watching everything, making sure I have all the notes and timings down, stacking them, and there's a cool thing I like to call frame manipulation that I do. It's very cool and interesting. <laughs> Where sometimes if um, 
the camera switches to a different person's perspective, so the entire screen flashes for a quick second because it's changing, and then the animation changes to a different scene. Sometimes the flash and flash delay just doesn't look good, so sometimes I'll lengthen or shorten some of the animation frames so it flashes simultaneously. I do, that too. You, I do the same thing. None of you have probably mm -hmm. ever seen it before. It's called frame holding. Frame holding. I, that's probably cooler than frame holding. It's can, frame holding on Premiere Pro. You can also um, shorten and lengthen the speed. Yeah, I do. And you I can, also do that, too. I do, too. And no one can, has probably noticed it, because I think that's the point. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's very, it's very it. subtle. I usually do it with, like, black like black screen. If it's, it's a like, black screen, yeah. Yeah, because it's like something that's like static, that's like hard to notice, that like it's it's not moving. Yeah. One of my most favorite edits that no one will ever notice is there was a Sea of Thieves video where I think it was Pirate Jeff. And the source material, there was two different kinds. There was the original live stream archive that was like two and a half hours long, yeah. and then the Let's Play edit, where it was about the exact same stuff, but trimmed to be like a normal Let's Play. And there was some parts from the animation that were from the live stream, but not the Let's Play. So I cut a part of it where it's one frame of Jeff looking down, and then the next frame, it cuts seamlessly to the live stream. It took so long to do that, and no one will ever notice it. I'm so proud of how well, it now works. Well, now, now we know. Now, we know now you know over. when it cuts. Well, you'll probably know because the audio is a little bad in the live stream. <laughs> the whole audio show. You guys got homework now. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, what about you? Uh, the process of editing. Oh man, I made a video about this, and it was the longest video on my channel. I actually made like a full-on behind-the-scenes video about like the entire process from start to from start to end. Me too. It was for. Oh yeah, it's it's really fun actually. So it usually just starts off with an idea of like a question or something, like how did Gavin get hired? How did Fiona get hired? How did Lindsay get hired? How did Michael and Lindsay meet? Whatever. Or sometimes I take suggestions from the viewers, and then I just, I'm like, okay, I need to find all this information. So I'll just create a gigantic list of suspected sources, which is usually stuff like Always Open, or Game Time, or like specific shows are always really good for getting information. Always Open in particular is really good because they talk about their personal lives a lot, and like their history and stuff. So that's really like, if, say, Gavin shows up, I'm like, okay, I need to highlight that one. That's when I need to watch uh, the Always Open episode of Gavin or whatever. And then after, like, 15 hours of research, I'll finally end up with, like, this massive wall of text, of notes that I've made. I'm like, okay, I need to turn this into a story. And then, which is actually really interesting because I never had any experience writing stories whatsoever or turning any, anything into stories. So I... Like with everything that I do, I just switched up on Google, like how to write a story, how to structure a story, whatever, and then I just turn it into a story, turn it into a script. Oh, she's frozen again. No! Uh -oh. She's getting good. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, part. man! Oh no. This has worked so many times before, I hope it works again. Well, I think it's just the Wi Fi in this building is not fantastic. So that's Wi Fi. Wi Fi is pee pee. <laughs> Try again! Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Back. Flawless. It is flawless. <laughs> oh, where did it up for you guys? The script. The wall text. The script. The script. Yeah. Oh. Not the wall oh, text. Just the script. So, yeah, I end up with a script. I record it, and then I hate listening to my own voice. So I want to get past the audio editing as soon as I possibly can. So then I do it, and I'm like, okay, I have all of these different pieces of dialogue, and then I need to put video for it. So then I think of like, okay, what are some really good clips of the person that I can put? So for example, um, say with Jeff, if I'm having like a clip, or I'm talking about like, oh, Jeff eating, so for example, Jeff eating, I'll try to find an eating that's funny. And because I've been watching Rooster Teeth for so long, I have like this huge archive of video footage in my head. So one of them is there's a happy hour. I believe it was the second one. Remember when they did happy hour? Yeah. And then I think it was the one where Jeff and Gavin bought a bunch of mints, and then Jeff had to shove like four packets of mints in his mouth. So I'd be like, oh, I remember that. That'd be really funny as like a background clip for me talking about Jeff eating or something. So then I'll just put together a bunch of clips like that, and then that's how I make the video. Really. So how about you guys? Um, for me, it's kind of the, the same process of I think of an idea, I start a master list of videos that I think would fit. So like if I know I'm going to do a Gmod video, 
I'm going to start rolling through the Gmod playlist and looking for stuff. Or if I'm doing a video about a specific person, I start rolling through videos. And as I was watching Achievement Hunter just for fun, I would mark moments that I thought were funny. Like, oh, like Gavin had a really great snipe shot in this TTT. I'll mark down the timestamp and the video. Um, and that's kind of what I would do. Um, and then for me, it's just, just standard process. I get, I think my minimum is like 30 videos for a comp that I'll do minimum 30, maximum like 60 or 70, get them in a list, download them all, hop them into Premiere Pro and then just go for it from there. Yes. Question. How do you guys download the videos? YouTube Converter. Uh, YouTube to MP4. I Google. use YouTube Downloader. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just take a screenshot download. of every single frame. Every single frame. <laughs> <laughs> and then I run it through Google Slides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I use I just use a standard YouTube converter. If you Google YouTube to MP4, it'll give you what you need. Because MP3 will only give you audio, but MP4 will give you video and audio. I suggest YouTube Downloader. Yeah. I just I've been using that for years. Mm -hmm. That's how I downloaded a lot of my songs before I got an iPad. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> it's okay, you can do it. I record them on my iPhone. I use the screen recorder. I'm so sorry. That's like that's like broke bitch shit. <laughs> it works. In in my defense, my laptop is really really bad, and I just cannot get any videos to hold on it. So <laughs> I work with what I got. And why does Rooster Teeth have four editors up here that don't have good computers? <laughs> I my computer, my computer's fine now, but it wasn't when I started. We got Craig's MacBook over here. <laughs> you want to move on? Um, I'll my editing process. <laughs> well, I thought you, I thought you started. Not in. We're oh, moving I, on I, to bits and answering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, I. I, t I, I kind of took the, I don't know, do, do any of you guys watch uh, Angry Video Game Nerd at all? Uh, yes. So he did a video a while ago about how he makes, how he makes his videos. He, he, like, he made, he made like, like Barbie for the NES, and then, like how he, how he would go about making that. And I kind of, I kind of like adopted some of like his techniques. So like, um, I just sit with like a notepad and just write down time codes and mm -hmm. Um, I, I wanted to keep it like the videos like themed so it's like if they did like a specific you know series or um, you know like a, you know like Mario Party that's like a Minecraft obviously I'm not gonna just jam it in the one I'm gonna like kind of like cut it off in certain episodes but like stuff stuff like that and I would watch I would watch them as like they go along so it's like if they started like a new series I would like you know kind of keep tabs on it, and if it didn't, then so be it. Um, like kind of like House of Ashes, uh, I was I was doing that, but then there wasn't like a whole lot of like there wasn't really like a whole lot to work with, so I'm just like eh, whatever. But you know, I I kept track of it anyway. Um, yeah, so I would watch all the videos, just take notes, and then. Um, when I'm done with that, um, I would go in the uh, Premiere and um, I'd type in the time code. Um, well, I would just do it. I, I'd scroll through the video because sometimes the uh, the lengths would be different because of like the... Uh, it depends on like what I was watching them on. Like if I'm watching them on the site, then there's like no like ads or anything like um, you know, YouTube ads or anything. So it's like they add like maybe like 30 seconds so that I can screw like everything up. So I just scroll through that, see if like there are any like ads or like, um, what do you call it? Um, you just like, just like mid, like mid video ad reads. So I would cut, I would cut those out to make sure like the time lined up. And then I would turn audio off, put some music on and just, just type the time codes in and just cut them off. And then that usually takes me like, it depends on the video, but it doesn't take me too long. And then after that, that's where the real work begins. Or it's like I just go through, and if you know I find like a good cutoff, or you know like if it's if I don't think it's like if I watch it again, if I don't think it's like funny on the second time, I just delete it. Or if it's like, yeah. Usually I mark stuff down that I like, kind of like smile or chuckle at. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go back, and I'm just like, yeah, that's not really that funny. 
funny. <laughs> or it's kind of cringe. But, you know. Half the time I'll look at my old timestamps and be like, why did I mark this one? I don't mm. remember what was funny about I this. I actually, hold on, I can like show you, like... Do you guys ever have like notes that you write down that you just don't understand? Like no context for it? Yeah, Like the absolutely. Jeff list? Yeah. I upgraded to an iPad. I used to use a notepad, a classic notepad. Yeah, also real quick, while he's pulling that up, uh, we are running close on time, so we're we gonna, are, be, we have 15 minutes we're gonna be finishing at 15, so if you guys do have questions for us, it's awesome. Yeah, I, I use, I use a thing called Nebo. That's awesome. Ooh. So, the thing is, that iPad is probably better. It is. <laughs> 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 That's your question. Uh, I was wondering, you guys said that you uh, taught yourself how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever come across a certain like technical aspect come uh, to it that you just didn't understand and how did you get past it? Yes, I 100% have. Um, so when I first started editing, like I said, I started on Final Cut Pro and I knew the software really well and then it upgraded to Final Cut Pro X, which was a different software that they had updated to be more manageable, which was actually just worse. Yeah. And then I went to college and they started trying to teach us Premiere Pro, but the teacher who was teaching us was like, here's a handbook. Literally the Premiere Pro handbook's got a DVD in the cover, read it, watch it and figure it out. That's and not so, how you that's not how you learn it. You have to learn from like hands on. Oh, trust me, I'm aware of that. <laughs> so, I that was how I started on Premiere Pro and I hated Premiere Pro when I first started on it. Uh, and now I love it because it's I finally found something that works for me. But a lot of times for me when I started editing Achievement Hunter, that was mainly to keep my skills up just so I'd have it for the job field. And um if I found something that I didn't understand, I actually talked to Craig a couple times about certain things, being like, do you know how to change the aspect ratio on this video? Because like the aspect ratio is 4.3 and I need it 16.9. Like, and we would talk about things like that. Or it's Google, like Google is my best friend. I Google everything. I'm like, how long do I need to cook these chicken tenders for? Like, that's just kind of me. So Google is a great resource. And luckily enough for me, because it was my undergrad, I had a lot of friends that were in the same field as me. So I could message them and be like, hey, I've got this problem with this video. Do you know? how I could maybe get through that. So that was what I did in particular. I don't know about these guys though. So yeah, uh, pretty much just, if you are running into something that you don't fully understand, the thing I always did would I would, I would just go to the internet, look up how to do it, learn the basics, yeah. open up secondary projects that are outside of the thing I'm primar primarily working on just to practice that one thing. I think I probably still have 12 projects on my computer where I was just practicing how to use keyframes. Five years into editing, and now I'm practicing keyframes. <laughs> there is always someone smarter than you on the internet who has already made a video about the one thing you have a question about. I'm like, how do I change the aspect ratio on a video that I downloaded? And someone's like, how to change the aspect ratio on a video that you downloaded from YouTube? And I'm like, perfect, click, <laughs> just start watch that through. I recently just started learning how to do like 3D and Photoshop. Like I've had a plugin where it's like, mm -hmm. Oh uh, yeah, you can, you can, yeah. <laughs> Photoshop is not my friend. <laughs> so, yeah, so, is yeah. It, oh, oh, sorry. No, Jamie, you have, you have an answer? I was like, where's sure. that voice yeah. coming from? <laughs> God! <laughs> is that you? It's you want to? You're good, Jamie, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. There's a YouTube channel called Adobe in a Minute. That has helped me throughout this entire YouTube journey. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just like two minute long videos on how to do this on Photoshop, how to do this in Premiere Pro. Like how do you change the speed of a video in Premiere Pro? Just Google it and then Adobe in a minute will upload, we'll have uploaded a video about that of like, here's a one minute video on how to do this thing in Adobe, whatever. So I always use that. Quick question, what, what version of Premiere do you, do you use? What, a, what an excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> it's different from the answer to that question. Is it, is it the subscription service? I have Adobe Cloud, so whatever is in the cloud. So Probably the most recent, honestly. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, got, I got CS6, so I... You're using... They're like on 11, bro. I'm using CS6. No, CS6 is fine for me. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it is now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have I don't have to pay him like a yearly fee to use it. That's fair. I mean, my mom has. That's why I'm using it. Work, so that's how I use it. I use it. I use it for my mom. I was so creative. I was so mad when I found out that I was like, hey, I want to upgrade. Hey, you have to pay. You have to pay like per month. I'm like, nope, sorry. I'm stick with CS6. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It works. It works. Question. Oh, I was just gonna ask what Abby was using. <laughs> <laughs> um. For, for 
for just editing in general or, or Adobe, oh, for Adobe, I, my school had like 2018, I believe. So that's what I was using for a long time. Now I uh, just, I have like the pack thing, like the cloud thing, so oh, just yeah. whichever one, I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> it's probably whatever the 2020, 2021 version yeah. is. I have no idea. It just updates. It's like, you have an Adobe update. I'm like, all right, they're update very, all. They're, they're, they're very minute like updates. And it's like, even you can, the updates for, if you're using all those software, it's just like two extra steps. Yeah. yeah. And Abby, after you said that your screen recorder is literally just the built-in iPhone one, I was fully expecting you to say your video editor was Windows Movie Maker for Windows XP. It's actually iMovie downloaded on my phone, actually. <laughs> I, I first said it because I was using a free program up until like this year. Yeah, I, I started off with iMovie, so yeah. All right, question. Cool. Yeah, so you guys all kind of grew your channel by finding out that people love to watch any kind of Rooster Teeth content that they can find on YouTube, right? Yep. Pretty much. So, my question is, in what way are you guys affiliated with Rooster Teeth at this point? In, in, because like you guys are all here, right? Yeah, we're actually not affiliated at all. Right, yeah, affiliation. Yeah. No. We're, we're surprised we're here. here as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just as shocked as you are. And, this and me, me and Vincent are both guardians, but we're yeah. like, I'm like off shift to come up here, but. No, I put I put in the request like months in advance, and that's just before like they even like because. I thought you had like the earlier the better, but they had it like two months before and they had it on the site. And I was emailing people at Chelsea and Ken, and it's just like, hey, um, panels, uh, can can we can I can I do some with some people? So you requested to be on a panel? Yes. yes. Well, yeah, they have the, they have it on the uh, the the RT site. So oh, okay. if you go like RTX, and it's like, hey, you have a panel, pitch it. Yeah. But I was I was doing that like way before that option because I didn't I didn't know and I didn't want to wait I wanted I wanted to you know you know you know be safe because it's like because yeah. it's like at that I, I didn't even know if I wanted to go like because of like you know like the the pandemic and everything because I just I just you know like the longer I you do it the better yeah that was that was essentially what happened was Rooster Teeth put out a call and they were like, hey, if anyone's interested in doing panels because we're going to be in person for the first time, yeah. uh, you know, just go ahead and pitch it. And Vincent had messaged me and been like, hey, if we do a panel for content creators, would you want to do it? And I was like, absolutely. And so for some reason in my head, my thought was, oh, maybe the more people that request it, the more likely yeah, they was, are. Yeah, so I put in a request too. So two of both of us put in a request they for this request, panel. They messaged her. <laughs> and, work, and, and they we, messaged her. Everything that's on the RT site and like the map with like the, the panel description, Everything that I wrote. <laughs> everything that I wrote. Everything that's on the RT event thing was I, mine. I completely forgot that she did it and she told me I'm like, why did they why did they email you? I well, was open that, that that put the request in. I got the email from Chelsea. She was like, Congratulations, your panel's been accepted, like you're gonna be here and Later. Um, Later. Uh, I messaged Vincent, I was like, Hey, did you get the email? He was like no. <laughs> he was like, can you forward it to me? I was like, sure. So I forwarded it to him and then he talked to Chelsea about it. But yeah, yeah so we're not technically affiliated with Rooster Teeth, not, not officially in any capacity, though they have like, I know that Gavin's commented on one of my videos. I know Alfredo and, and uh, Trevor and Jeremy and them have seen them. They're just not, like we're not officially affiliated with them. So yeah. That'd be cool though. Yeah, I'm trying. I've, I've applied to several internships with them and heard yeah, back from a here. few. Yeah, I've heard back from a few, but not not all of them. But I, I applied for the uh, the one that they did with Warner Media. I don't know if you guys would have seen that one. I did too. Did you I apply to that well. one? Yeah, I was I one of the. I had to have been so one I. of the first people that applied for that because it was like, uh, they were like, oh, April first, applications open. Within an hour, I was like, here's my app, <laughs> take it. <laughs> like, here's my application. So if if that. I mean, they only accept eight people, and four of us applied for it. So odds are, we're all gonna not get that. So probably not gonna get it. Okay. I was seventeen at the time. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be eighteen when this panel happens in October or whatever. You know. Yeah. So. Perfect. Yeah. So not not a te not technically affiliated, but just mm -hmm. here on behalf of Rooster Teeth, just as fans, basically. Mm -hmm. So I founded Rooster Teeth, so. Bernie, is that you? How old would you have been? Uh, three months. She would have been though in the negatives. Yeah. So, You're what, nineteen? Uh, yeah. Wait, how old would I have been? Hang on. What year was it? You, it, they founded it in two thousand three, so you would have been. You would have been. I would have been five zero. months old. Yeah. I would have been like startup of the century. I would have been. I would have been five, turning six that year. 
I was, yeah, I was like five that year. I wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's late, 97, though. I'm practicing 98. <laughs> Anybody else got any questions for us? We can sit and chat and kill time for another five minutes. Any questions? <laughs> Not serious ones? I, I, oh, that's well, perfect. Do you want to ask really us like anything that? else besides like our channels? Go, go. Yeah, for it's it. like if you have anything for us, we'll answer. Uh, we don't care. I, I just want to say how to play because we actually know, like, you know me. But next one. All jazz done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person, finally. Yeah. <laughs> this is just so. Uh, is there a chance for us to talk to you outside of the panel? Yeah, yeah. yeah and definitely. And I don't buy it. It's their weekend hard. passes, so we're all going to be here. Um, I'm on my lunch after this, so I'll be sticking around. <laughs> so we'll be Roman. Yeah, we'll be we'll be Roman. I'm down at registration, so if you guys have your badges and you're bored, I'll be down at Reg down at the weekend passes. If you guys want to come chat and stuff. Um, you guys, so let's hear it. They all know what's about to happen. <laughs> all right. I have with me. Actually, thank you. I can't do Is this. Is that a handheld camera? Yes, don't add me. Okay. <laughs> I have my random question board. It's at the bottom. Okay. Nine questions in total, one through three for the first three. Would you like to uh, go through the experience? Yes. Yes, please. Pick it. Okay. So, warning these are random questions. I, For the most part, I did not control what's actually on here. But PG, all of it, thankfully. <laughs> I hope. Okay. One, two, three. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. One, two, three. Don't pick one or two, please. They're weird questions. One. <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid thing to say. <laughs> okay. If Jesus could walk on water, could can he swim through land? I mean, quick is a thing. So yes. Okay. One, two, three again. Yeah, what do you not want me to pick? Um, well, he said one or three, so go three. No, no, no that was that. That's it. It's nine questions in total, each one through three. Oh, okay. I'll just do two. What makes a meme a good meme? Impact. Oh, okay. Good answer. Correct answer. All right, also. final one through three. Pick very carefully. Three. And a half. You're going to Wait, one. No, one. Wait, which one? Two. <laughs> <laughs> What is the main reason you decided to show up today? 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 Yeah. Because I had to. He's, he's on shift. <laughs> I have to party, party. He's waiting. Who wants to do another round? I, I'll remember. go. Oh my God. Okay. One, two, three. I thought these were going to be a lot weirder. Three. You pick the normal or ones. Three? Yeah. Oh, the one, yeah. Okay, perfect. If you could give yourself, your younger self, any advice, what would it be? Like a serious one. Isn't it? <laughs> um, you picked the wrong question. Yeah, I could do. Tell myself. I would say start a YouTube channel earlier. Yeah, that's nice so too. Making these videos. Whoa. Try yeah. kombucha for the first time and film on TikTok. Film on TikTok. Yeah. That's I don't know. Cool. Probably something like that. All right, you have two more to go. One, two, three. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to be considered a weave? Oh, it's one and done. You say one thing about loving anime. As soon as as soon as you watch the first frame. Yeah. <laughs> My best friend is a weeb and I'm allowed to call her that because I'm Japanese, so I'm allowed to call her a weeb. <laughs> they showed Ruby at first night. Yeah. You're a weeb, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> well you did actually you Final question, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Two. Two. This, what is the main reason you decided to show up? Uh, well, I'm being paid to be here, so. Okay. <laughs> also, I wanted to see you guys, so. You guys are getting paid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent money to be here. Yeah. You did spend money to be here. <laughs> I'll do a round. You want to go? I spent money to make money. Yeah. Well, that yeah. Just, All right, I'll do two. Oh, gosh. So the, this one came from my brother. I don't know if he was serious or not, but. <laughs> <laughs> Scattered laughter from the back. <laughs> okay. Do you like gay frogs? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a yes or no question. <laughs> Rapid fire. Wait, what was it? Gay frogs? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. I prefer chemicals in the water. <laughs> All right. Next one. <laughs> one, two, one. How long does it take to be considered a weed? 
How long was first night? Add an extra hour to that. <laughs> Enough for me not to be considered a weeb. One femtosecond. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. We'll do one. Oh, you're going to love this one, I think. If you could force everyone to eat one food item, what would it be? Pizza rolls with Frank's Red Hot Sauce on it. He puts that shit on everything. <laughs> Because it's the best way to destroy your digestive system. You master. Why? Why would you why? Why? <laughs> would any of you want For to For reactions to like that. <laughs> that is why. I have to buy so much blood stain remover. <laughs> Alright, so we have about two minutes left. Would you guys be interested in taking a picture with all of us? Yes, please. I would love yeah. to take a picture with you guys if you're if you're comfortable. I will take my mind. Thank you for doing the recording. Oh, well, never mind. I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess we can just stand up on stage and go back. Yeah, we'll just stand around and just turn. <laughs> we'll spin. Alright, let's do it. You want to do it on your phone, or? I have a bad camera. Okay, well. I have an iPhone 8, can you tell? I don't keep things up to date. Oh, well, use mine then. It sounds about right. If it works just as well as it can. Yeah, I was like, I've, got a, I've got my iPhone too, so we can do whatever you guys want. Okay. Old Jamie for us. Old Jamie. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone in. Use yourself. Three, two, one.